Food concerns tonight about toxic air, this time in Fulton County. Independent testing for ethylene oxide showed levels higher than what the EPA says is acceptable. It all stems from sterilization services of Georgia. CBS 46's Carolyn Ryan live at one of several schools, Carolyn, where they found high levels of the cancer causing gas. Good evening, Sean. This school is about two miles away from Sterilization Services of Georgia, which just like Sterigenics in Cobb County and BD in Covington, uses ethylene oxide to sterilize medical equipment. And these new tests show ETO was detected here at this school and almost all the other testing locations as well. But Fulton County commissioners, they don't believe that's a problem. The firm hired to do the testing took air samples from 13 locations, including eight schools within a five mile radius of the plant. Almost all of the samples came back high. But when reps from the consulting company delivered the results to the commissioners last week, they told them there was nothing to worry about. I asked a direct question, uh, were there any negative impact negative findings with respect to air quality and their answer was no. The company admitted the levels were higher than the EPA safety standards, but argued they were lower than other industry standards, which didn't sit well with Fulton County resident Hayes Higher. The problem that I really saw with the report was that they were using the American Council on Chemistries uh, as a benchmark, a lobbying group. Higher and others in her community now left trying to make sense of the conflicting data. The federal government standards says the levels of ethylene oxide in the air in Fulton County are not safe. The outside firm who did the testing says they are. Chairman Rob Pitts says he stands with the consultants. I am satisfied at this point in time with the findings of that very reputable firm. I'm raising my children here. Um, if he wants to trade houses with me, um, I would be happy to do that. Uh, he can come have his young children breathing air that is being poisoned by these companies. Now, Fulton County commissioners don't plan on taking any further action on this matter, but make no mistake, others are. We've got state senators Jen Jordan and Eric Allen. They are both planning to introduce legislation in the upcoming session that will rein in these companies and the amount of ETO that they are allowed to emit into the atmosphere. That's the story here in Fulton County. Carolyn Ryan, CBS 46 News.